about how to use the pen tool to create shapes. But we haven't talked about its other use, which is to modify existing shapes. As an example, I'm going to click on this rectangle that I've drawn just with the normal rectangle tool. And then if I access my pen tool, I actually have the ability to do three things. I can add additional anchor points, I can remove existing anchor points, and I can even convert anchor points from straight lines to curves or curves to straight lines. Now seeing as how this doesn't actually have any curves in it, um, this would just be straight lines to curves in this case. But let's leave that for another section. For now, I just want to talk about removing an anchor point. So assuming you have the item selected, so I have selected it, I'm now going to access the pen tool. And if you move your mouse over any of the existing anchor points with your just regular pen tool, it switches to a minus sign, a little icon of minus sign, which indicates remove or delete anchor point. So if I click on that anchor point once, you'll see it removes it and then joins the only remaining anchor points it has in that shape. Now, I can use the same functionality to add anchor points, except you can't move your mouse over an existing anchor point to add an anchor point. You'd have to move it over the path. So if I move my mouse over the path anywhere and I uh, see next to my mouse a little plus sign indicating, I would click to add an anchor point. Now, what I, I do want to mention something with a rectangle tool or with any tools really in, in Illustrator. When you have a closed shape, it indicates the center of the shape with a dot that looks an awful lot like an anchor point, but it's not. So this center point is not an anchor point um, because that could be a little bit confusing for this video. So let's say I wanted to add an anchor point. Well, I'm going to move my mouse over the path where I'd like to add an anchor point. I get the plus sign. I'm going to click once and an anchor point gets added. If I subtract this one, you'll see it will new, use that new anchor point and of course create the shape. There's that anchor point I was talking about that simply indicates the center of the shape. Let's do another example. So over here I have a polygon. I'm going to get my pen tool again. Maybe I'd like to add an anchor point here, add an anchor point here and subtract this one to create a customized shape out of that polygon shape. And you're going to find yourself doing this an awful lot. Okay that a lot of shapes that you might want to create are really just basic shapes and then we can use the pen tool to modify them to exactly what we need. Now one thing you will notice is that with the pen tool we have not discussed moving an anchor point because the pen tool is not the tool to do that. There's actually a different tool and I'll talk about that in the next video. For now the pen tool is used to add anchor points, remove anchor points, or convert anchor points. And Let's talk about that last one. So let's say I have this star here, access my pen tool, and I'd like to turn this into a curve. I don't want it to be a straight line up at this top anchor point anymore. Well, if I move my mouse over and I get the minus sign, that's not what I want. That's going to remove the anchor. I want to convert from a straight line anchor point to a curved anchor point. And we actually talked about this in the last video when we were drawing shapes with the pen tool. We can hold down the Alt key. And holding down the Alt key accesses the Convert Anchor Point tool. And what I can do now while holding Alt is I can click and hold on that anchor point and I can drag it to create a curve. We could do this on as many anchor points as we want. So we could quickly, you know, nicely create a little flower here in Illustrator. There we go. And instead of drawing the shape out, we used a basic shape and we simply modified it. So that pen tool can be useful for so many different areas in Illustrator. In this case, we talked about how we can use it to modify shapes. One other thing to point out here is if I click and hold on the pen tool, you actually can see the add anchor point tool, the delete anchor point tool, and the convert anchor point tool. And we actually used all three of these tools simply by accessing the pen tool and knowing what those little icons indicate when I had a shape selected. I know that's to add, I know that's to minus, and I know that if I hold alt, I get my convert anchor point tool.